Um, why are you running for president? Initially, the reason I decided to run for president is because I thought that there were people in the government blackmailing Donald Trump, and maybe that included Mike Pompeo, but I, I don't know for sure. Maybe that included a lot of people. And what I also knew for sure is that um, the Austin bomber wasn't the Austin bomber, and it was this other guy that I met who was an explosives expert who um, worked for an oil and gas company who kept ranting about Austin, and then the day after I wrote about it on <clears throat> Facebook and talked to my friend who worked for the FBI about it, um, there was a picture released of this guy showing his belly, and it was the exact description that, uh, that I gave, late 30s, white male, pot, beer belly, He's, he said he was from Oklahoma, he was wearing a Nebraska hat, um, he kept ranting about Austin, only stairs and queers come from Austin, and it, it got so intense at some point because it seemed like he was with this other guy who was like a mixed martial artist. And um, it got so intense that I had to tell him, I was like, well, um, just so you know, I don't fight people, I kill them. So if you try to fight me, I'm just gonna kill you. And um, that's when he left. And then I was left with the other guy who looked scarier than, scarier than him, because um, he, he looked like he was really good at fighting. And I only had a knife on me, uh, no gun back then. So um, the guy told me, that he believed that the blood of, or the soil of freedom needs to be uh, fertilized with the blood of patriots and traitors alike. Um, and then something about um, how we might need a civil war to break out. And I told him, well, if a civil war breaks out, then we're not gonna just go fight a civil war with you guys with guns, we're just gonna kill everyone. And that's, that's just how it's gonna be. And um, yeah, and then I left. So um, they caught the Austin bomber right after I described him and I, I think he was a federal agent, and I think that they framed the other guy. And that's why I said um, the government needed to um, publish the audio of the Austin bomber speaking about, um, basically confessing, and until they published the audio that people shouldn't pay their taxes. Um, but then I reneged on that because I was afraid that I was going to get murdered. I'm always almost going to get murdered, like my entire life, I'm almost going to get murdered. It's unbelievable I'm alive right now.